Hey guys, Gareth 197 again, once again with some more new loot. But today's new loot is going to be special for two reasons. Reason number one is, with the exception of these two, all of them are going to be old kits. Reason number two, with the exception of these two kits, all of them were bought with birthday money I got from some friends. And well, yeah, so one of them asked me, what exactly uh, do you kind of want for your birthday? Because I have no idea what to give you. Of course, all of my friends are quite aware of my somewhat unique hobby, which is also somewhat extremely difficult to find here. And I mean, literally, there are probably only a handful of stores selling Gumpla in all of Belgium. Not that it's a big country to begin with, but hey, you get the picture. And on top of that, even if for some reason they would be able to find Gumbel in stores, it's going to be ridiculously overpriced. I mean, buying this thing in a store here would cost you at least 15 euros. And I kid you not, I think I once bought an Aegis, no grade, for, I don't know, 15, 20 euros? I don't even want to think about it. And of course that was back when I didn't know what a seat no grade was. But yeah, I just told her, well, frankly, I think you're, you're, the best thing you can give me is just cash. And judging by her reaction, I think she was kind of planning to give me cash already, but she just kind of asked if there was an alternative that I wanted because, well, giving cash isn't the most creative of gifts. But yeah, like I said, for me, there pretty much isn't any better gift because my hobby is quite unavailable here. So, or imagine the other scenario, like, oh yeah, of course she also passed the word around, so everyone just gave me cash. But imagine the other scenario and they give me, and they decided to just all put their money together and buy something from, well, the site I usually buy from HLJ or something from eBay. And then the friend who said, ah, just send it over to my place, I'll, I'll receive it, I'm always at home, so no problem, I can always get the mail. Then imagine the day that he gets the package and then he gets the bill for the import costs. That would be fucking hilarious. Not. Uh, those are usually pretty high. It's not an oddity that I have to pay 40 euros import costs. And... That would have been so much fun for that person. Now, let's have a quick look at the stray box because I've heard that, yes indeed, we're gonna get a grey katana with stickers. Well, at least we're getting some nice ones for the hilt. But, yeah, these? Ah, cool. Oh yeah, of course, uh, it's kind of like with the high grade that those beams are somewhat different. We're just getting marking stickers, and here we have it. All gray katana. It's a little bit of a disappointment. And now we're gonna go back to the past. Let's put this out of the way. Whoops. Slide it backwards to get a little bit more. And we're gonna start off with the Silhouette Formula F91 kits. This is the Hardy Gun, the first one, and I'm just gonna open them all up to see which one of these have that special kind of injection thing where they have multiple colors for one part. Uh, nope, just extremely white. Fortunately, the shield's gonna be all white too. But I gotta say, judging from the colors, this is looking pretty good. And one immediate thing I notice when you compare this to the heavy gun, it solved one of the problems I had with it, not having enough accessories. This one comes with a gun, a bigger gun, and now also a beam saver. We have the Gundam RXF91. Oh, the RXF91 RXF. Oh, and here we have the multiple injection. Oh, this time they're even doing three colors on one. And, well, once again, I gotta say, this does look extremely good. Damn. Damn. 
I'm impressed. I'm really, really impressed. Oh yeah, also one thing about these Silhouette Formula F91 kits, unlike the F91 kits, which have water slide decals, these are peel-off stickers, just like we get with most other modern high rates now. So I'm not sure which one is better, but I would say that for the average Gumpla builder, having peel-off stickers is better. But for more hardcore Gumpla builders, oh yeah, of course, I already started on the Vignas era. Currently building this one, and this one doesn't have the multi-injection either. But yeah, as I was saying, I think for more seasoned Gumpla builders, that water slide decals are the way to go. And this one is a little bit of a disappointment because we immediately see that the cannons are white. Instead of having a nice gray, they're white. Because essentially what they did with the G-Cannon Magna is we just get the usual G-Cannon with these two extra runners. Other than that, I'm... Yeah, I'm... No, I'm not 100% positive that you can actually build the old G-Cannon and that they just threw in these two runners and couldn't be bothered to mold these kind of... I know, they also seem a little bit too fat, but yeah, they simply couldn't be bothered to mold those in great. And the box doesn't really like to close. That is something that will be a recurring thing with these older kits. Next up, the Neo Gundam. RX-99. And oh yeah, once again, we have that multi-molding. Ah, here it seems to have spilled a little bit. Hmm. Could that be one of the reasons that they stopped doing it and simply decided, ah, you know what, we'll mold it as a separate piece. Who knows? And, huh. How bizarre. So we get the normal stickers and then they still put some normal stickers on the peel-off stickers. Great. I gotta say, the more I look at these, the better they're getting. Seriously. And oh! Bonus! I hadn't noticed that before. Okay, that is cool. I didn't know they came with a handbook. Awesome! Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's quickly leaf through it. Oh, design thingies. So the J gun, go to the heavy gun, go to the hardy gun. Aw, oh, cool. I wasn't aware we were going to get something like this. Ah, the Vigna Zira. And I gotta say, this one is fucking awesome. I've only just started building it, but I'm already falling in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why wasn't this a model kit? Ah, oh, they so should have released that one. That reminds me of the... Ah, oh, which one was the blue one? Was that the gun cannon? That was a heavy armor type. The heavy weapons type. Damn. Man, they really... They really should have released some of these models. I'm gonna cover this one up. No, 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 no. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> ah, that looks funny too. Damn. I wasn't aware that they came with extra books. Now I wonder what will happen when I open up the others, because as I said, I've only opened up two of these. The Hardy Gun and the Vigna Zira. Still got two to go. And this one is, oh yeah, the F91 Kai. Yeah, once again, we get the same package. Looking extremely good. Ooh, lots of stickers going on. And, oh no, wait, is this a manual? Yeah, that's an odd style manual. Oh, 
Well, that is different. Usually, de oh, that's really different. It's kind of like an early design for a monster grade manual, the way they put it together. Well, these kits just get more interesting by the second. Also, this is by far the most expensive one of this line at 1,800 yen. They're not as cheap as the other F9, as the F91 kit, but damn, I gotta say, these do look a lot better so far. And the final one of the line is the Cluster Gundam. Open it up. And, oh, surprisingly enough, this one does not have the multi-injection molding. And oh, white beam rifle, never a good thing. Never really like that, but hey, clear beams. Now I'm wondering if the other ones had clear beams. I don't think they did. So I guess this, in this case, we're really seeing that they're kind of going forwards towards the G Gundam and just Gundam wing model kits. Custom white, blue, and hey, what do we have here? The bazookas used by the League Militaire and the Earth Federation. Cool. And then we, yeah, here we once again have the normal style manual that just kind of folds open. Those are all the F91 kits. Well, the F the silhouette for F91 kits. And even though those are already quite some things, there's still a lot more to come. Because of course this is. Well, these aren't all that expensive, especially considering the kind of weak yen when compared to Euro and HLJ's minus 20. And now we're gonna get some older ones. These are two I already have. The Full Armor Double Zeta Gundam and the Zeta Plus C1. But I just wanted to complete my squadron. So I needed one more Zeta Plus and two more Full Armor Double Zeta Gundams. The reason I only have one yet is because when uh, at HLJ you have the ability to kind of choose which model kits you want uh, sent to you and which ones you still want to keep in your private warehouse. And when I was checking out the prices, if I wanted this double, Z the other double Zeta kit and Angelo Sauper's Gira Zulu to be included with this, it would cost me 30 euros more and then the cheapest option would be EMS which takes two weeks. And then if I left those two out, it would have of course been 30 euros cheaper, only 70 as opposed to the 100. And my cheapest option then would be FedEx, which instead of two weeks takes three days. So really don't know why another full armor double Zeta Gundam and Angelo Sauper's Girazulu drove up the price that much, but that is why they are not here just yet. And we're gonna go back to the past even more with the antique real type mobile suits. Starting off with the Gundam and this is really good looking. Even though it's old, even though it's not exactly color accurate, just the colors they're using, gray, black, burgundy, that's enough to just make this awesome. And then we're getting a shitload of water slide tackles. This is even more than with most master grades. So I gotta say they really went above and beyond considering the time, of course. But yeah, these real grades, uh, real grades. Man, I keep wanting to call these real grades, but of course these real types are really something else. We got the gym, which actually, in my opinion, looks the least real. When was the last time you saw a fighter whose main colors were white and red? It would have been so much better if they went with a similar color scheme to the real type Gundam. Of course, the red still isn't that militaristic, but it's a hell of a lot more militaristic than the usual color scheme. 
We're getting the gun cannon. Come on, move it. There we go, the gun cannon. Once again, the colors aren't exactly as they should be, but they're just so awesome again. We're getting black, gray, and a kind... No, it's not really bringing more like wine red, I guess. And when we look at the color thing, it's... Yeah, colors... It does need a little bit of paint, but I don't think it will really need any paint to look awesome. Except probably the... Yeah, the face guard. That's gonna need a little bit of blue paint. Other than that, I don't think I'm gonna do any painting on this. Put that there and oh yeah, of course we get the different color schemes. And I think, yeah, if I turn these around... No, the gym doesn't, but the Gundam sure does. Let's put them back like that. When we get a few variations of the color scheme you can do. Moving on with the Zaku. Well, this is the Zaku 2. Pop it open the commander type. Get some nice brown, dark green, and I think this might just be one of the next ones I'm gonna build. Pop it off with black. This just looks awesome. And I doubt this one needs any painting at all. I think we should get the Monoi as a separate sticker. Yep, yeah, it's in there. So, there's gonna be no painting at all for this one required. Other than, yeah, the Heat Hawk probably too, but nah. Probably not gonna do it. We get, once again, a few more extras. Then, still not done, the Zaku one. Guess, hey, I decided to go for all of them. Get some light brown, sandy brown black then hmm Romba Roll Blue right, and of course it also looks like this will hardly need any painting at all back in going on and now we're almost there we got the Gelgook seems to be yeah, the bit oh yeah definitely bigger than the others Open it up. Yeah, the same kind of sandy brown as with... No, yeah, this might be a slightly darker than the Zaku one, but still kind of similar. Got green. Oh, the same color again. And the only thing that's a little bit of a shame here is that the beam rifle is also molded in that same sandy brown color. Other than that, it wouldn't really need any painting to look great. Now, oh, maybe the bottom of the feet. Well, it looks like the Galago this time does a little bit worse than the Zaku. This back in. I've been waiting so long to get my hands on these real types. And just as with the F91 kits, these are the cheap. 800 yen. This is the most expensive one. All the others are like 700 yen or something. So. It's almost nothing in terms of price. And, oh yeah. As always, we get a few different ones. Night, normal, and jungle type, even though it's not that much different from the normal one. Take that on there. And now, the final one. Unfortunately, it's also the least good one. Because it will need some painting. Let's get gray, and then dark blue here, but yeah, this body is going to need some significant painting if we want it to be accurate. You can see gray, red, yeah, it does need some painting, but who knows, it might not look too bad. Also, I would have preferred it if this blue was black, because... Yeah, the cover does show it to be black and not a very dark blue. Or maybe they just had an extremely dark blue. Because now that's definitely more black than blue. 
those are all of the real types, but we're still not there yet. Got two left. That is the Boimo Hertzkel gym, which is identical to the real, uh, the real type. I keep wanting to call them real grades, damn it. So, which is identical to the real type, of course, minus the water slide decals and a slightly different color scheme. I already built him, and this is the, well, very old result. And then the final thing I got, one 144 scale gym. And ain't this old. Ah, the one scales of the old Gundam series. Oh, how crappy they are. No, <laughs> uh, just funny looking at it now. One color, a lot of painting, fantastic. Let's put that back in there. And that's all for this time's new loot. And I'm now um, at a complete loss which one to build after the Vigna Zira. I'm probably going to build the Hardy Gun, or maybe I'm going to build the Zaku too. But then again, that gym looks pretty damn cool too. Or that RX-78 too, because the color scheme? Black, grey, burgundy is pretty badass. Especially since we're going to see a completely different side of the RX-78 too. But then I can't forget about the Astray Red Frame either, even though the Katana is, isn't nearly as good as we'd hoped. But yeah, but then there was also that Zeta Plus, which was pretty awesome, so I wouldn't mind building that one again. Maybe this time I can build it. Or, no, it doesn't work. So, and I'm really at a complete loss which one I should build first. Probably gonna be the Hardy Gun, but then again, it could be something completely different. And just as a closing statement, this is of course why I said to my buddies to give me cash. I, of course, paid for the shipping costs and the import costs as well, which is probably going to be like half of the entire budget thing. Because even though they were dirt cheap, and seriously, this is a lot less expensive than you would expect, um, but they're still big boxes, so shipping costs were still pretty significant. But they would have, of course, been even more significant if I had also uh, let HLJ ship my other double Zeta, full armor double Zeta, my FATS, and the Angelo Sauper custom gear Doga. But yeah, that's seriously all for this time. If you want the priority built on any of these, leave a comment down below. I've still got plenty of building to do, I think. And see you guys next time.